everyone and welcome to Math Sucks. This video is going to help you pass the Algebra 2 Common Core Regions. We're doing this one question at a time. Here is question 35. Algebraically solve the following system of equations. So we have this big guy over here, x minus 2 squared plus y minus 3 squared equals 16, and then this little guy, x plus y minus 1. So, then, so when I see this, I see that we're kind of going to move this little guy around to get it in terms of x or in terms of y and plug it into here. But first, let's expand this big guy up here. So let's let's expand all these binomials. We have x minus 2 squared plus y minus 3 squared equals 16. So let's expand this to x minus 2 times x minus 2 plus y minus 3 times y minus 3 equals 16. And now we're just going to use FOIL or the distributive property of the box method, whatever works best for you to expand binomials. So I'm just going to do this kind of quickly. We have x times x gives us x squared minus 2x minus 2x plus 4. Plus now we're over here. We have y times y, which is y squared minus 3y minus 3y. And then negative 3 times negative, negative 3 will give us plus 9, which is 16. So we can combine some like terms, so let's do that. x squared minus 4x plus 4 plus y squared minus 6y plus 9 equals 16. So we can combine this even further. We have these whole numbers, 9 and 4. So we can combine those x squared minus 4x plus y squared minus 6y and then 4 plus 9 will just give us 13, and we still have that 16. So notice we can actually just take 13 and subtract it from both sides right away, and we'll get 3 is equal to x squared minus 4x plus y squared minus 6y. So now is when we can take another look at this little guy and move it around a bit. So we have x plus y minus 1 equals 0. So let's, um, let's move everything to the other side and see what x is equal to. So if we go x uh, is equal to 1, so this is going to be, so we're going to move this one and it'll become a positive, minus y. So we'll move the y and we'll get x is equal to 1 minus y. So now, so now we can take this and plug it back into here. So for x, so for x squared, we're going to have 1 minus y squared minus 4 times 1 minus y plus y squared minus 6y equals 3. And then we could just solve this as normal. So, so there's still more um, manipulating, but, um, but we're, we're getting closer. So we're, we're expanding this binomial and then just moving this all down. So actually we could distribute this. Um, negative 4 times 1 is minus 4. And then negative 4 times negative y will give us plus 4y plus y squared minus 6y equals 3. And now let's distribute this. 1 times 1 is 1. 1 times negative y is minus y. Another minus y plus y squared. And then now we're just bringing down the rest of this. Okay, next. So now we can look for like terms. So we have y squared plus y squared will give us 2y squared. Um, let's look for y. So this is minus 2y over here. Negative 2y plus 4 will give us 2y. 2y minus 6 will give us minus 4y. So that took care of, let's squiggle them. So we have minus 2 and then we have plus 4 which gives us 2, and then minus 6. So negative 6 plus 2 will be minus 4y. And then we have our whole numbers, which we have negative 4 and 1. So negative 4 plus 1 will just give us minus 3, and then equal to that 3. Okay, so we're getting closer. So up next we want to add 3 to both sides. This will give us 6 equal to 2y squared minus 4y. From here, notice that we can take out a GCF from this and divide everything by 2. And when we do that, we're going to get y squared minus 2y equals 3. So I'm going to bring this up over here. 
because we're running out of room. So, um, so now we have y squared minus 2y equals 3. And notice this is a quadratic equation, so let's um, set this equal to 0, move the 3 back over. y squared minus 2y minus 3 equals 0. And then just factor this using product sum. So p equals negative 3, s equals minus 2. And so some two numbers that multiply to negative 3 and add to negative 2 would be negative 3 and 1. Because negative 3 times 1 is negative 3, and negative 3 plus 1 is minus 2. So now if we factor this y plus 1 and y minus 3 equals 0, we're going to get y equals negative 1 and y equals 3. So we have our two y values, but we also need to find the corresponding x values. And to do that, um, we could use either equation, but let's use this smaller one because that just looks a lot easier. So we're going to plug these into x plus y minus 1 equals 0. Um, so for, for our first equation, we're going to be plugging in minus 1. So x plus minus 1 minus 1 is equal to 0. So, so this really becomes x minus 2 equals 0. So we know that x is equal to 2. So one pair is going to be 2 comma negative 1. So that's one of our answers, but we're going to have two answers because, because we have two answers. So here we plugged in negative 1 for y, and that's why we have this y coordinate here, and then we ended up with x equals 2. So that's why we have this x and y pair. And for the other pair, so we plugged in this part, okay, and now to plug in 3. So we have x plus 3 minus 1 equals 0, so just plugging this in back to that equation again. And this will give us x plus 2 equals 0. And now we see that x is equal to negative 2 because negative 2 plus 2 equals 0. So if we know x is equal to negative 2 when y is equal to 3, so here's y equal to 3 and x is a negative 2, we have our second pair, negative 2 comma 3. So the, these are our two answers. Need more practice? Check out mathsucks.org for more questions. Link below. Also, don't forget to subscribe. Happy calculating!